Shalom, shalom. This message goes out to you wicked shepherds who are not allowing the children of Israelites to return to this place, Mount Zion, the place that the Most High established for the 144,000. Do not let anyone, anyone hold you back. Any of these wicked shepherds hold you back from the Most High place that he established for you. Our people have been held back too long. This is the time to stand up as Israelites. We are not from any camps. We are Israelites from tribes and clans. All praises to the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. I stand here before you as a servant of the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Yahuwah, the God of Israel, and showing you that we are here and we stand here in the day after Pesach. We established the ordinance in 2,000 years. It has not been done. <laughs> Strip them down. We ain't gonna let you see the stripping part. We gotta strip them down. We gotta cover up the blood. We gotta dig a hole. You see the hole there? You see the hole we made for the blood to run in? And we got the other blood there. We, we, we took the first blood. We're gonna be dipping in hyssop. And we're gonna bring that back there. But right now, he's gone. So now we're gonna strip them down. The scripture says you're supposed to eat them with everything intact. We're gonna strip them. We're supposed to eat them with everything intact. And we're gonna strip them, we're gonna be cooking them and stripping them as, as, as we're gonna be stripping them as we roast them. So you're gonna see all this one step at a time, guys. And this is the first, uh, some of you guys, it's the first time you saw the lamb being, being baked or cooked or, or prepared for the meal for Passover. But let me make this one statement first, first. Because if people ask me, why, why you guys sacrifice the lamb? Well, let me make this clear. This is not a sacrifice. This is what everybody in the world is doing when they want to eat something. They kill it, they gut it, and they feed you. A sacrifice is when you take the animal and you burn the whole entire animal. The priest can get certain parts of that animal before it's burned. But the animal, the whole animal is devoured by fire. This animal it's just like any other animal, a chicken, a, a, a steak, a lamb. He's gonna be, he's, 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 his throat's been cut. He's gonna be eaten entirely and whatever's left is gonna be burned. That's a total different process in the sacrifice. So all those brothers out there that's wondering about a sacrifice, if this is a sacrifice, look it up in scripture and you will see that the whole sacrifice is done in Petra. Or, 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 or the land of Edom, the wilderness stands right here in this land of Israel in the southern kingdom of Yehuda. I'm here to tell you brothers and sisters out there, do not let none of these wicked shepherds hold you back from the master. You do not belong to them. You do not owe them anything. They're taking your money. They're stealing everything. They're taking your tithes. These are the wicked shepherds. You will know them by their fruit according to the Torah. Please. I bid you, my brothers. Isaiah 65 says that the master will send a sword after you if you do not seek his place. The master will send a sword after you and your children. This is not my words, but this is the laws of Torah.